Melody here, time for day number four, and I'm singing This Is How We Do by Katy Perry. Be sure to stay tuned in after the video for my next step on how to get over your breakup. This is how we do. This is how we do. Sipping on rose, sipping on sun, coming up for lazy. Slow cooking pouring cakes for my boy, still up, still fresh as a daisy. Playing ping pong all night long, everything's on me and then hazy. Chanel, the Chanel, that hell yeah, all the girls vintage Chanel, baby. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. This is no big deal. This is how we do, yeah. Chin laid back, straight stunting, yeah, we do it like that. This is how we do, do 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 do. This is how we do, do, yeah. Chin laid back, straight stunting, yeah, we do it like that. This is how we do, do 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 do. This is how we do. Big hoops, maroon lips, my click hopping in my Maserati. Santa Barbara, she got La Super Rica, grabbing tacos, checking out hotties. Now we're talking astrology, getting our nails did all Japanesey. Day drinking at the Wildcats, sucking real bad at Mariah Karaoke. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. This is no big deal. This is how we do, yeah. To lay back, straight stunting, yeah, we do it like that. This is how we do, do 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 do. This is how we do, do, yeah. To lay back, straight stunting, yeah, we do it like that. This is how we do, do 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 do. This is how we do. This one goes out to the ladies at breakfast in last night's dress. Uh-huh, I see you. Yo, this goes out to all you kids that still have their cars at the Club Valet, and it's Tuesday. Yo, shout out to all you kids buying bottle service with your rent money. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> this is how we do, yeah. Chill lay back, straight stunt, yeah, we do it like that. This is how we do. Do 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 do. This is how we do do. Yeah, chin lay back, straight stunt. Yeah, we do it like that. This is how we do. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, this is how we do do. This goes out to all you people going to bed with a ten and waking up with a two. This is how we do. Ha, <laughs> not me. Uh, this is how we do. Yeah, chin lay back, straight stunt. Yeah, we do it like that. This is how we do. Do 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 do. Wait, no, no, no. Bring the beat back. <laughs> That's right. This is how we do. This is how we do. <laughs> Little dance party at the end. Gotta love that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, hi guys, um, I, so I'm gonna tell you the next step, but I want to tell you guys something first, um, like I said, none of this stuff is, like, scientific, this is just, in regards to getting over breakups, this is what I do, this is what I did, I can't say I do, because I've only had one, but, um, it may not always work. It doesn't work for everyone. It might not work for you. This is just, this is my suggestion to you. And it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be f problems with your plan. Problems with your plan. Like today, for example, um, I, so I have a class with my ex and his girlfriend. And um, it's really hard to get through. I think it's a lot easier to get over an ex if you don't have to see them constantly, especially when they're all over each other. And I mean, literally all over each other. It's like, seriously, get a room. Um, but anyway, so I have that class with them and um, I have one friend in that class, kind of, I guess you could say. Um, and he's literally been the biggest help in getting through this semester. And wouldn't you know it, today he told me that he has feelings for me. And he knows I have a boyfriend. 
but I don't know I just I wasn't expecting it and he's like I'm just I really like you and I'm like shoot <laughs> so now I feel awkward and I don't know how I'm gonna make it through physics class the rest of the year um I don't want to avoid him because let's face it that's really mean but it just I don't know I wasn't expecting it and it messed with me I'll be honest I was like completely dead silent for a long time and um then I I had to I FaceTime my boyfriend and luckily he was able to cheer me up but I just not, not everything will go according to plan there will be you're gonna have days where things get messed up there's gonna be little wretches thrown in your plan but I just I want you to know it's no matter what the wretch is, you'll be fine. You can get through it, okay? So, I'm just throwing that out there. Anyway, so my next step for how to get over a breakup is to to distract yourself, um, to start attempting to move on. Now, I'm not saying move on yet. That can take forever. Like I said, I think my ex and I, we broke up in October because it was Halloween. I remember the very last time I kissed him, we were carving pumpkins. Um... So, we broke up in October, let's see, this past weekend was March, and I just now got over it, so I'm telling you, you don't, you, you don't have to move on right away, I'm just saying, now it's time to start attempting that process, if you feel you're ready for it. Um, what I recommend, what happened for me, is I went out, and I got a job, I was like, granted, it's at Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> which is fine, I actually love it there, but... My thought process was that with that was like, hey, he thinks I need him. I'm going to prove him wrong. I can do things on my own. He thinks he's so special with his stupid job. Why don't I go get my own job? And so that was kind of my thought process with that. So I went and I got a job and it was great. I became way more outgoing than I ever had been because, you know, you're forced to talk to people and customer service. I've had some crazy customers. Um, so, I mean, it, it was good. And... So there's that. I also, I made new friends, not just at work, like in other places. I went out, I started doing more things. I started hanging out with people I don't normally hang out with. Um, and then, let's see, I went on dates. I went on dates with guys just to distract myself. I mean, I knew I hadn't moved on yet, but I was like, hey, why not? Maybe one of these guys I'll like better. And um, so I went on dates with different guys and one of them wound up being my my current boyfriend so you know that works um but you just you want to experiment you know you know test your um test your test your boundaries and just get out there you know um join an extracurricular activity do a sport i mean bowling is awesome i assuming that i go to maryville which is a possibility i already have a roommate my friend callie is going to be my roommate um and I met her through bowling. So it's like, just just get out there. I mean, there's so many more experiences. There's so many things you can do while you're single without a guy um, or a girl, if you're a guy listening to this. Um, just get out there and do things. You don't have to move on yet, not by any means. But just, just start getting yourself out there. Start distracting yourself. Um, because eventually, those distractions those will help you to move on and in the long run, they'll help. Um, so yeah, um, tomorrow will be my last video. And then Saturday, it's either gonna be a, my boyfriend does my makeup or it's gonna be truth or dare. I haven't decided yet. I'm not sure my friends can handle truth or dare because I have a feeling some of the questions they would ask me for truths and I don't know that I wanna answer those <laughs> in all honesty. So we'll see. Um, but yes, I will have a video for you then, and I'll have a video for you Sunday. Hopefully something with my little brother and sister, uh, Tommy and Kenley, because I'll get to see them on Sunday. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I love you guys so much. Have a great day, rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye.